Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use a circle, triangle, and a rectangle or any of those crazy shapes uh, to create a nice silhouette that you can use as a brush, okay? That will help you for your thumbnails, okay? Check that out. First, you will need a hard brush, a hard brush, hard eraser. I'm talking about 100% opacity. Um, all those nice features, you disable them except shape dynamics uh on size jitter you leave it on pain pressure okay uh make sure you have your reference in front of you and you start drawing and you see uh what i'm thinking what kind of shapes uh i'm thinking while i was uh, drawing this uh this uh this silhouette sorry um right now i'm not thinking about any perspective nothing i'm not thinking about uh all i'm thinking about is just uh, the shapes the silhouette and make sure that the proportion is all right you will see for um later in the video uh i'm trying to uh, i'm dealing with the with the proportion anyway for now uh i'm using Control t a lot just uh uh to uh to move um, different part of the silhouette to make it uh, fit uh, what i had in mind and also i'm using liquify liquify you can find liquify in filter uh liquify to move push and pull and uh, the silhouette and make it look the way I want it to look. Okay. Uh, also, you can use uh, um, puppet wrap. Puppet wrap, you can, uh, you'll find it on edit puppet wrap and you'll be able to, um, to place the character and once you're happy, of course, with uh, the character, as you can see here. Uh, you'll be able to place it uh, in certain ways, but be gentle because uh, sometimes <laughs> You might mess up with the, the pose as you can see all I wanted to do is just a simple T pose character um, When you're doing thumbnails it's better to go with simple T pose because thumbnails your focus should be on design and not f Nice pose and stuff like that. You will think about all those stuff later. All right so again, now I'm showing you the shapes I was thinking while I was doing uh, um, this silhouette. Um, you see, as you can see, the the knee uh, I'm going to use. I'm, I was thinking about a circle, uh, the shoulders circle, uh, the head. It can, it's a combination of square, triangle, and uh, oval, and and so on. And also, guys, proportion-wise, like I was saying before, a uh, uh, male character is eight heads. Uh, the height and uh, for the um, uh, for the width uh, of the character it's uh, like I like to think I like to imagine a big triangle starting from uh, the middle of the head and uh, the two points the other two points uh, on each I mean each each sorry the other two points on each uh, shoulders okay all right so now I mean if you're not happy with uh, the character you can always use liquify like I said uh, to push and pull and tweak it the way you want it until it fits your needs and yeah I use like I said trans transform control T a lot just to to make sure that I have a nice symmetric pose because if uh, one side is is perfect I don't have to waste my time in trying to 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 make the other side perfect since it's a it's a T pose so usually you know I make it symmetric and then after I add some little stuff just to make it less obvious that it's like I use like control T all right so now I mean if you are happy with your once you're happy with your character you can add certain no at this level it's perfect okay don't add anything you will see why I'm gonna tell you this because you're gonna be able to use this silhouette for different projects so there's no need to add hair there's no need to add big big guns right now nothing none of that so what you're trying to do you're trying to create a nice silhouette character that even from afar if you zoomed out you would be able to see that it's a character now what I'm going to do okay I'm still using the puppet wrap because for a certain reason I didn't like the pose <laughs> Anyway, now as you can see, I create a from the silhouette. I create a brush. How to do that? You just control click on the layer where your silhouette is, and then you go on edit, 
and, and you click on define brush presets. Now you go one layer on top, you add a new layer and now you start adding, this is the moment you can add all the stuff that you like, so it, all the goodies, you know what I mean? Guns, uh, I don't know, like armor and stuff like that. As you can see, that's what I'm trying to do here. And yeah, and from there, you can use the same techniques that I use in the in in my last videos. I know it's been like two years, but hey, uh, you can still use those stuff. As you can see, I'm I'm not thinking about perspective now. I'm just thinking about how to modify uh, the silhouette to make it look interesting. I'm adding certain stuff in it. Like I said, the same technique that I used in the previous video. This is what I what I use to come up with uh, those silhouettes. Of course, that was. Like a demonstration I, w I wanted to share you with you guys so th those are very lame uh but hey uh the purpose of this video was was just to show you this technique not to brag about how great artists i am <laughs> anyway all right guys uh so now if you are happy with your thumbnails you'll pick one you resize with a new layer with the brush that you like to draw with uh, you start sketching on top of it. So this is where your reference will be very useful. In our case, uh, I didn't have reference and I didn't like the way I was going with it. I didn't finish it. But I'm going to show you a character where I finished the line art. Um, even this character, I'm going to paint on top of it. But as you can see, uh, let me quickly, the, the, the coloring process is I create a um, a mask for the whole body and I create a different mask for a different part of the body like skin uh, clothes and armor um, and then you put the flat colors shadow light and blend occlusion and rim light and stuff like that uh, not in this video unfortunately but I'm gonna show you the finished product I took uh, the liberty to paint on top of it again and like I said this is a thumbnail so I didn't like uh, the design, so I paint on top of it, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, I spent I think 50, 50 to thirty minutes on top of this character, and here's uh, what it gave you. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, you learned something. Uh, if you got any question, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer if possible. Um, and also guys if you got any suggestions don't forget this is not uh, I'm not trying to teach anything I'm just sharing uh, certain stuff with you guys uh, I'm learning I'm still learning and I'm yeah and I'm happy to do it uh, so like and subscribe and if you're happy and share it with your friend with anybody anyone you think that might benefit from this and also guys uh, thank you for subscribing to the new subscribers welcome to the family I really appreciate it. It's been a lot to me. That's what kept me going. Um, I know I didn't uh, post very often, but I'm going to try to do my best now. Um, yeah. So that's it, guys. Until next time, be safe and keep on drawing. All right, guys. I'm out. Peace out.